Cynthia Howard, War II. And this is pretty much a continuation of our little Q&A session we had a couple of weeks ago. Um, I brought in some information that further states my case on the special education aid in that we didn't move that much, that much for four years. Um, the most that we lost was for catastrophic aid. And over the period of four years, from 2016 to this year, this fiscal year, it was, it was approximately $269,000. But when you factor in all the other revenue streams, it comes to around, for the four years, 106000 So why are we using all this money for another program, adding more programs, when we are still getting a lot of money from the state? I think this is a common misconception from everybody that we're losing millions of dollars from the state of New Hampshire. And they're cutting back thousands and thousands. No, that's not true. And we were very lucky from the governor to get that money. Um, I believe it was like $76 million that was sent across the state of New Hampshire. But to add additional programs that are only going to add more staff, and become more social programs, and this autism program, a lot of it is medicating the children, and it's not really serving any person purpose. Why would we need dropout programs? I mean, that is something that you would do on a one-to-one -one -one basis, not within the program itself. So, I mean, it's, it's redundant to me to add more until we actually see a success from the existing program, which the taxpayers have already paid. 